हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस इन टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव टू टॉकिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट एंगल प्रोजेक्शन एंड द थर्ड एंगल प्रोजेक्शन एंड डू चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन वंस फॉर ऑल ऑफ माई लिंक्स नाउ this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant this is third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant now when we talk of the first angle projection that means we are dealing with the first quadrant and when we are talking of the third angle projection that means we are dealing with the third quadrant first you need to understand this and 90% of the industries worldwide they use first angle projection and 10% industries they use third angle projection now i would be telling you teaching you both first angle and third angle projection so let us start with the first angle projection now first angle projection it means that the front view front view it will come on the top upper side and the top view it will come on the bottom side now what is front view and top view i hope as a mechanical engineer you are able to identify what is front view and top view if not then let me explain suppose you have a cylinder this is a cylinder all right this is a cylinder which is kept in the first quadrant like this that means it is kept along this means length wise the length is l and it is kept the length is in y direction this is y axis this is x axis now when we see what is front view front view means when we look from front this side this side we look so as to project this image on the plane we always look from that side so that the rays this is our eye and the rays that suppose the rays move and it make a image on the plane so we always see from that side so this is the front view so we would be seeing a rectangle on the front view side here we would be seeing rectangle and when we see from the top that means the top view we would be seeing circle all right so in first angle projection you understand that the front view it comes at the top and the top view it comes at the bottom we rotate this plane by 90 degree clockwise in order to project it on a paper suppose the plane of the paper in which we have to draw it was like this now this was the quadrant here you have kept the cylinder in the y axis y direction along the length is in the y direction so now this is in 2d and we have to draw it on a plane of paper so what we do this is in 3d this is in 3d we have to convert it into 2d so we consider the plane of the paper to be this Sorry. we consider the plane of the paper along the y axis this is our paper and when we see from this side this would be the front view so what we are seeing we will get this projection on this plane paper because here it is y axis and the plane of the paper it is also along the y axis so we would be getting the front view as this rectangle on the top side and when we see from the above that is from the top view this is the top view this is the front view and when we see from the top view we would be seeing these circles 
but these circles they would be connected on this this x axis now we have to rotate it this x axis by 90 degree because this angle is 90 degree in the clockwise direction in order to make this plane coincident with this plane i hope it is getting clear that for the top view you have to rotate the plane this plane by 90 degree clockwise all right so we would be getting the top view here front view is at the top then we rotate it and this top view that is obtained here this circle it comes down so it will be somewhat here like this all right and this denotes that this plane that is this distance it is equal to this distance and this length of the cylinder it is equal to this this length the diameter of the cylinder it is equal to this length it is also equal to this length i hope it is clear so this was the first angle projection now let me talk about the third angle projection in the third angle projection what we do suppose third angle projection means the this the y axis is minus y and the x axis is minus x all right this is the third angle sorry third quadrant and now what the projection that we need to get it is suppose again the cylinder is kept like this along the minus y direction that means this is the length l along this it is kept you have to visualize this in 3d all right along the length that is perpendicular to x axis or the x plane suppose this is the plane so this cylinder is kept perpendicular to this x axis along the minus y direction all right now we have to find the top view and the front view now remember that we always first find the front view then find the top view now front view means we have to see from the front if we see from this side then no image will be formed because there is no plane so we have to see from this side so this will be front for this case we have to put our eye here and we have to see from this side when we see from this side the image it will be formed on the minus y plane this plane the image will be formed along the this plane it will be obtained on this plane so and when we see the top view the top view if we see from this side this side the top view will not be formed because there is no plane here so we have to see from this side this is the front view this is the top view when we see from this side then these circles they projected here now in third angle projection we have to remember that the this plane that is the plane on which the top view is obtained you have to rotate it clockwise by 90 degree always you have to rotate the top view the plane on which the top view is obtained by 90 degree clockwise always now when we rotate this plane 90 degree clockwise so we get this comes above this comes above that means this distance it is equal to this distance and here some more circle comes this distance is equal to this distance when you rotate this plane by 90 degree clockwise this is 90 degree so this top view comes above and this projected length this rectangle it comes below for the third angle projection third angle projection line summary for the first angle projection front view is at above or at top and top view is at bottom and for third angle projection top view is 
upper and front view is at bottom. So I hope you have understood what is first angle and third angle projection. You can watch other videos appearing on your screen right now. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe my channel and please press the like button. For any doubt, suggestion or feedback, please mention in the comment section. Do check out the links in the description and do follow me on Facebook, Google, Twitter, Instagram, etc. All the links are in the description below. And till next time, take care. Bye bye.